So my pain started when I was 14. I had two surgeries when I was in my teens, a couple of car accidents in my 20s, and I've had a lot of pain since then, uh, which has made it very difficult for me to get through my adult life. When you have chronic pain, you almost tend to bury it. It becomes such a worry for you in general about the people around you and how it affects the people around you. The scary part is that after a while, when the doctors tell you for so long that it's in your head, you actually start to believe it's in your head and then you start ignoring it and you start thinking, oh, I can do that. You know, digging and shoveling and, and working on that house, I can do that. In 2016, my husband and I had um, purchased a home that we were working on. I got up one morning and I was unable to put pressure on my leg. The pain was so intense. I got back into bed and I called my husband and my husband actually had to come home from work that day and he brought me out into the living room and he set me into my chair and I ended up staying in that chair for three and a half months. Doctors had said that I had sort of re-injured myself there was no chance of them being able to do surgery again because the more scar tissue that they remove, the more it creates. So I just sort of lived my life carefully. <laughs> um, I was unable to do certain things. I lived within my, my means. Manage your pain with medication where you're taking opiates like morphine. I couldn't keep food down. I couldn't keep liquids down. I was very, very sick on them. I was on 60 milligrams of morphine a day. I had to keep taking them because it was really the only thing that I had. My husband and I loved to dance and he had told me that he loved me and that he really missed dancing with me. My family doctor and I had discussed that a second opinion was probably a good idea. I went and saw Dr. Osborne. When I went into my appointment, she actually had the spinal cord stimulator on the bed when I walked into the room. They want you to do a two-week trial before they do the spinal cord stimulator implant because they want to make sure that this device is going to work for you. When they first turned the machine on, it was amazing. When I got up to change and leave the hospital, that's when I really noticed the difference. And I actually walked into the hospital with a cane and I walked out of the hospital holding my cane. That was a pretty amazing. That was pretty amazing. That was a pretty amazing day. The trial only lasts for 10 to 14 days. The day before the end of the trial period, I told my husband when we were, went back to our room, I didn't want them to take the stimulator out. And he said they have to, but he asked me to dance. And we danced for a few seconds in our room before, <laughs> before they took it out. And um, that was when we knew it was gonna be okay. <laughs>